Welcome to the program on green supply chain. Here the focus is on how to reduce the environmental impact due to the supply chain operation. Now this consciousness has come to the customers who is demanding green product or the supply chain which is operating in a green way. So we need to understand what are the activity which we can do so that we can green the supply chain. So there are various activities involved to make a supply chain green starting from uh, reverse logistics and we are using pollution transportation and warehousing how we can minimize the energy and uh, fuel consumption in those areas and we have uh, procurement so that how we can make a green purchasing so it is not only in your organization it is for the entire supply chain all the partners across the supply chain what are the activities you can do in such a way that the overall impact due to pollution or emission is minimized and also thereby you are going to reduce energy consumption when we talk about reverse logistic we also talk about circular supply chain we have to get back the material at the end of a life of a product and then see how you can recover or reuse or uh, circulate recirculate into the supply chain so that uh, it becomes more green so nowadays there is a more focus on reverse logistic how we effectively you can get back the use to product and make use of them in the future requirement then coming to the warehouse uh, operation you know we consume lot of uh, energy and also emit pollutions uh, pollution could be in terms of carbon dioxide or even a noise uh, pollution can also be there due to the vehicles coming loading and loading so we need to find a method how we can minimize this pollution aspect and also reduce the energy conservation possible we can install some solar panel or wind mills which can supplement uh, the actual energy use and when it comes to transportation we use uh, fuel so is there any way of uh, getting or using the alternate fuel is there a way of consolidating goods so that the travel transportation requirement reduces can we optimize the load or can we optimize the routing so that we can reduce the consumption of uh, fuel so all this aspect forms a part of overall supply chain and this is a growing discipline and may become basic or mandatory requirement for any supply chain professional to know how this green supply chains can be developed either within your organization or across the supply chain i am trying to give overview about these requirement in my program which is unique in nature request you to enroll for the program and benefit from this. Thanks for watching. Bye.